What's good guys, it's your boy Justin J coming to you with another video. Let's cook boys, let's cook. All right, how to beat depression. Why you must use these emotions as fuel, guys. You need to understand something, guys. A lot of the traumatic stuff, right? Uh, a lot of, you know, unfortunate things, you know? A lot of violent altercations, right? A lot of just bad predicaments that you have found yourself in in life where things, you felt as if things were happening to you as a child, as a teenager, even as, an, uh, even as a young adult, guys, this shit can cut deep. And it can like literally leave you feeling like you don't know who you are or because of what this person did or this person's actions, it, it, you know, it determines how I feel about myself. You know, my mother didn't love me enough. My father wasn't there. My father didn't love me enough. You know, there's a lot of people around me telling me that I can't do something that is, it's not even rocket science, but it's what I want to do. And it just makes me feel like shit inside. Why doesn't anybody believe in me? Why does everybody think less of me? Why? Why do people want to constantly come in and hurt me? Why do people, you know, never want to give, but they always seem to just want to take from me? You know, why is it that when I try my best and I put my best foot forward, I trip and I fall on my face and I have to pick myself back up. But you see, the part where you pick yourself back up, that's the only thing that matters. That's the only part that really counts. See, a lot of people have depression, but a lot of people don't even know that they could get over this depression by picking themselves up off the ground. You need to understand that this is one life, guys. You got one shot at one life, so you have to make the best out of it. So if you don't want to take yourself serious and you want to be some hee hee, kiki kaka, ah, I'm having such a fun time. And if you want to be a person that's always waiting on somebody else, waiting on somebody else to get fed, what? Guys, no, this is your life. You have to pick yourself up, that old self, pick yourself up off the ground. Pick yourself up and just look at yourself. And just know that this person's never coming back. You beat depression by using emotions as fuel, guys. If somebody thinks less of you, if somebody's trying to play with your time, play with you. They think that you're a do boy, a clown, uh, you know, a little dancing circus monkey. If that's what they think about you, that's perfectly fine. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Everybody's entitled to say whatever it is that they want. Everybody's allowed to think whatever they want, guys but it has nothing to do with what you think and how you feel about yourself. You know, a lot of the reasons why you are inside your own head is because you do not give yourself enough credit. You don't give yourself enough opportunity. You know, a lot of people just wanna stay in a cave and just stay in pure darkness and live there and not actually get over what's eating them up day after day. But when you turn around and you face it in the face, oh, different ball game, depression, anxiety, all of that. Guys, I've suffered from it all. And you're never going to overcome it until you pick yourself up. March through it, guys. Get to the other side. I'm telling you, you're gonna feel 100 times better. But this is for all my boys that are going through something right now that just need a pep talk, that just really need somebody to understand where they are right now or where they used to be at and if it's just messing with them. And guys, you need to know something. You are a man. You are a man. You should be proud to be a man, guys. Because as a man, I don't care if it's 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. You can always recreate yourself. You can always build, guys. Always remember that. It starts with you. You got to take care of yourself and know that you're good so other people can be good and feel good when they're around you. Nobody wants to be around a depressed person especially a, a depressed person who can actually take action and do something about it. Guys, don't be a victim. But if you're going through something, I know depression is real. I know, and I know the walls feel like they're closing in. It's kind of a feeling, it's a drowning effect kind of feeling. I always feel like I was drowning when I was so depressed. Like nobody could pull me out of the water. Nobody could hear me screaming because I'm underwater. Nobody was ever coming to save me. I had to save my fucking self. 
So I got to push this message to you guys. If you feel like you're going insane, if you feel like past things that happened to you are just literally defining everything that's happening now, like, wait a minute, this happened before and this bullshit is popping up now. Guys, that's because you thought you killed it and put it away, but it came back. And now it's just time to kill it again. I'm not playing. Depression will eat you alive, guys. Do you know what it's like? To be in a room full of people and feel completely alone or feel like nobody fucking understands you. Better yet, nobody can even see you. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of us that felt like that before. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of us that, you know, knew that we had something to say and we had a voice inside of us, but we were just too afraid to say it. Which just breeds more depression. You know? Which just breeds more awkwardness. Which just breeding more low self-esteem. I'm going to tell you guys the truth right here. When you build that self-esteem, when you start to feel better, when you start to embrace your flaws, when you start to embrace all the negative shit that happened to you before you say, this did not happen to me, it happened for me. You become unstoppable. You will not bend. You will not break. You will not fold. Guys, I've been at the lowest of lows. Didn't know where I was going to sleep. Didn't know where I was going to get my next meal. Didn't know where I was going to get my next dollar. But I could have been trying harder. I could have been trying harder. I sat and I marinated it and I just sulked in my own just bullshit because I wasn't trying hard enough. I was not trying hard enough. And that's a part of being a man. Guys, you need to start looking at things like, you know what? This bullshit happened, but what part did I play in it? Even if it seems like I didn't play a part at all. What part did I play in it? And I'm never going to play that part ever again. I'm never going to be a victim ever again. I'm never going to feel low ever again. I'm never going to feel like I don't deserve something. I'm never going to feel like I don't belong. You know what? Wherever I go, that's where I belong. Because I'm that motherfucker. When I look in the mirror, I see that motherfucker. Wherever I go, I take me. So I cannot feel like shit about myself. Never will I ever care about what somebody else thinks about me. What somebody else wants to say about me. Fuck that. Never letting it take me down. In society, this is another part of depression. You would think that society would be helping you get over your depression. But society keeps you in a revolving door. And if you pay attention to the agenda and you pay attention to the shit that they push, no, 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 guys. Your self-esteem will be low big time. Trust and believe. Your confidence will be low big time. They don't want us to be out here knowing our real potential and our real power. This for the brotherhood. I'm telling you guys. Real men are feared in this world. Depression, anxiety, all that stuff is just a block. But when you use it and you say, hey, you know what? I'm going to use this to work for me, not against me. Guys, you turn into an animal, uncaged, unstoppable. You are him and they are them. Do not let them get inside of your head and break you guys. Depression is real, but at the same time, it's not real because you can take it and flip it and use it to actually benefit yourself. Because I know there's a lot of guys that struggle with depression, guys. And remember, Rome was not built in a day. So remember that, guys. When you're trying to figure out how I'm going to beat the depression, you have to study yourself more. And you actually have to study the depression more. And once you study the depression, you will be able to defeat your enemy. Remember that, guys. You are him. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with you boys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go, boys. Let's go.